Bowl. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. Grant is out there with Pippen, and it's Michael Jordan, then it's Cartwright, and it's Paxson, and it's the point. And for the Bulls, Harper's out there with Michael Jordan, then there's Pippen, and it's Dennis Rodman, and it's Longley in at the center position. Now here's Rodman. Pass to Pippen. The second chance effort. Jordan knocks it away, and he's able to get it back. Great defense in the paint there, making it tough on the offense. That's what he brings, a present. I mean, you saw it on that miss. Grant inside. Rodman on him. Gathers. And the shot counts. He's fouled, and it's a chance for a three-point play. Boy, that takes a lot of strength to finish a play like that while you're getting fouled. Boy, he had it on display right there, partner. I mean, that was muscle. That was strength on display finishing that shot. Let's go quickly over to Doris Burke for an update. Well, I spoke with the head coach of the Bulls. They'll be up against a very smart team on the offensive end, and he knows they'll have to be on top of their game to keep up with them on that end of the floor. The coach said that he emphasized communication on defense as they'll need to be on the same page to get the stops necessary. Guys, let's see if they can do it. Great stuff, Doris. Thanks. It sounds like, Clark, the most important number for them today is opposing shooting percentage. Well, one of the best ways, Kevin, to contain a dangerous shooter is to keep the ball out of his hands. Deny him the ball. And deny, deny, deny has to be what your focus is. Steve, well, the key is that if you're going to deny, then, then you've got to anticipate the rotations. And so as long as they're schooled in the, in the game plan tonight and they understand what they're trying to accomplish, they can be aggressive and deny and then go ahead and make the rotations from there. He's got so many ways to hurt you. I mean, he is really an offensive force out there. Fade away, and it's Chicago scoring again. That was interesting. He was at a huge disadvantage size-wise, but he found his way to the basket. Well, Steve, you know, giving up some height on the mismatch didn't really affect him. Now here's Jordan following the miss by Michael Jordan. And he can't get the first one. And the Bulls making a change here. Weddington's checked in. He hits the second from the line. Had a miss on that trip, but still made this a two-possession lead. Jordan inside. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. Unbelievable shot there. He busted out the trick release and left the defender dazed and confused. He throw good, Jordan. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Chicago. And he makes the first but misses the second. And it's the Bulls with the ball. It's a three-point game. Now here's Jordan. Six points for him. Oh, and a nice defensive play to interrupt the alley-oop. The opening was there for a split second, but he didn't get it there in time. Here's Jordan. Gets the outside fadeaway. Jordan's got eight points. That was a beautiful fadeaway. Knocked it down with the defender right in his grill. And they double up Jordan. Rodman kicks to Jordan. So a couple of poor possessions now in a row consecutive. Both times. Oh! oh, oh, oh. I tell you right now, that one there will get you a 50 at the dunk contest. Perfect score. Yeah, maybe he thought he was in the dunk <laughs> contest. It sure looked like it. That was kind of a special occasion dunk, guys. Back and down is Pippen. Back to Grant. Poke loose. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. So for the Bulls, Luke Longley's checked in for Winnington. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. Here's Pippen. Looking for his first bucket of the game. Outside Jordan. 
one, no good. Now Chicago takes it the other way. 127 left here in the opening quarter. Two coach passes to Jordan. Releases. And it's Chicago scoring again. Well, you've got to get the ball out of his hands. Bring an extra defender and force somebody else to beat you. I agree with you. Make him give it up. Good. 12 points for Jordan. Bulls trail by five. Here is Longley. And you can count it. He'll go to the line with a chance to make it three. How about the concentration to finish that play despite being fouled? You know what, Steve? A lot of guys get hit and then stop. But he played through contact, and I like that. And the Bulls making a change here. Hodges checked in. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. Kings checked in for Chicago. Armstrong comes in for Hodges. Here's Armstrong. This is to Grant. Back and down. Kerr hits the reach in call. That's his first foul. First personal foul. Here's Pippen. Back and down is Jordan. Here's King. Lock at six. And that falls. Well, they keep going right back to the paint. And who can blame them? I mean, they're getting it done in there. Yeah, three of their last five buckets, guys, have come from inside the lane area. So I'd expect them to continue to go inside right at the defense. Well, he was just a little bit off with his mechanics there for some reason. I'm not sure why. Longley on him. And he makes the first. And the Bulls making a change here. No good on the second free throw. Two coach with it. Still looking to get on the scoreboard. And here's Kerr from the arc. That one goes. Come. Both sides really coming out of the gate firing here. Guys, they look like they were raring to go in this one. A lot of offense early on. No shortage of scoring here at the end of the first quarter. Now the second quarter getting ready to start up. Here's Jordan taking a look at the Bulls. They've got King. B.J. Armstrong is out there with Michael Jordan. Then there's Pippen, and it's Grant in at the force line. That's good. Yeah, he's so good from that mid-range area. Only with it. Outside Harper. And here's Kerr from the arc. Gets it to go. Kerr's got six. Oh, that's a quality look there. The defense a bit late. Two straight now from long range, putting up points in a hurry, Clark. And so he draws the foul on the shot, a trip to the line to shoot two. And this Rodman picks one up. Yeah, don't give up anything for free. I like that. Send him to the line. Yeah, don't, they don't want to sit back and watch you lay it in. I mean, make him earn it. Make him earn it. Don't give up anything easy. Here's Kerr. Six points for him. He's covered by Armstrong. There's the pass to Longley. Backing in. Armstrong is tagged with the reach. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Bulls, Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Pippen comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Michael Jordan subbed in for Steve Kerr. Here's Jordan. Ten points for him. And it's rejected. The Bulls leading by four. He dishes it to Pippen. He's picked up by Pippen. And then Pippen slams it in. Well, that's a dunk you will not see very often. You won't pass that one by. No doubt about that. I wish he would, though. You can never see too many of those. Free throw good from Pippen. 
Jordan kicks to Pippen. Back to Jordan. Outside Pippen. Moving the ball. And stolen by Jordan. Well, that was a serious heave there. You can't blame him too much for not being able to corral it in. And the defense didn't have position. They whistle a blocking foul, and he'll go to the line. Free throw good from Pippen. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Scotty Pippen. So he hits one of two from the strike. Bulls trail by eight. Jordan inside. Can't connect. He should make that one, guys. He had a pretty good look at the basket. Just couldn't get it to go. And they're running. Oh, that's blocked. Jordan gets called for the reach. That's foul number two for him. They may have to... Play a little less aggressively on defense because one more foul and they're in the penalty. Well, see if you oh! They continue to build on this lead. Yeah, they're trying to get a little more separation, Steve, and they actually have a chance to do it the way they're making plays at both ends. He's picked up by Jordan. Out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago. The coach doesn't look pleased at all. He's going to try to iron things out. And the Bulls making a change here. Here's Kukoc looking for his first bucket of the game. Wennington passes to Harper. Puts the lead pass in front of him. Wennington with the bucket. Points in the paint have been the main course, or main entree, if you will. They just keep pounding it inside. Now well, they're seeing no resistance defensively in the paint area, so the defense has got to be tougher. They grab their own miss. Rises up and throws it down. I'll tell you what, he's not going to win any high jump competition, so it's a good thing he doesn't have to go too far to get to the rim. I'm not sure he could, uh, or any of us, could slip a piece of paper under him when he takes off. <laughs> no, it doesn't matter much, so Kevin, because he's such a big man. I mean, if he gets positioned, forget about it. First one falls for him. Chicago making some changes. Luke Longley's checked in for Winnington. Bushler comes in for Michael Jordan. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. That's also good, so he hits both free throws. Here's Kerr. He's got six. Launches a three. And it's King with the rebound. The Bulls leading by eight. And this is a fast break layup. And here's Kerr. He's picked up by Pippen. Rodman dishes to Kerr. And he lays it straight in. Kerr's got five points now this quarter. Well, sometimes when you're at a height disadvantage, that's... And then slammed in by Jordan. Well, he took that one to the rack with some purple. I'll say beautiful dunk there, Steve. Yeah, how about the agility? You know, just the, the power and the skill. Impressive. Outside Pippen. Backs down. The dive for the ball. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. A minute 20 left here in the second. The fadeaway. Michael Jordan again. Jordan's got 22. Well, I like that he's come up with some big baskets for this team to help him out in getting this lead. Bushler, the pass to Rodman. Backs him down. Out to Kuko. Out of bounds. And they retain possession. And took a gamble there to try to disrupt that pass. Yeah, he couldn't quite get a hold of it, but still a nice play. So for the Bulls, Wennington, he's checked in for Rodman. Pippen comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Michael Jordan subbed in for Bushler. And Pippen gets it to go. Three straight buckets in the paint. They're making it look effortless. Well, 
Speaking of effortless, we'd like to see a little more out of the defense. Huh? How about trying, guys? Just did not get to the spot in time, and that's going to be a blocking foul. Well, I thought the defender made a good effort, and it's a hard call to have go against you, but it's the right. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Here's Jordan. Ten points for him. And they double up Jordan. Wennington. And it's good. Assisting on the play was Jordan. Six points for him. Boy, every time they drop it in, they do so from close range. Easy basket. Yeah, high percentage looks time and time again, guys. And it's paying off for them. The way they're playing this game, I like their strategy. Three pointer. Armstrong gets the rebound. He'd like to start this quarter over, I'm sure. No rhythm, Steve, at all. He just can't seem to find it. Here's King. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. There's a lot of contact there. Good call. You know, he bothered the shot, but he still got a pair of free throws out of it. And he sinks the second. Here's Jordan. Right side, Jordan. And he knocks it down. That's got to feel good. Ending the quarter on a positive note. Yeah, you would know that. And that concludes the first half. How about Michael Jordan in this one? He's got 24 points and he's picked up a couple of steals. Nice defensive output. Yeah, that's been a really strong part of his game tonight, Clark. Disrupting the offense and playing those passing lanes. And we'll get back to the action right after this. Pippen is out there with Dennis Rodman. Then there's Harper. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Longley in at the five down low. That's the five out there for the Bulls. At the line. No good on the free throw. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Two coaches checked in. So neither attempt will fall that time for him. Bulls trail by seven. Now Harper battles through traffic and lays it in. They continue to barrel their way inside. And when's the defense going to adjust? Well, I'm asking the same question myself, partner. I mean, that's a... Oh! Boy, that dunk got everybody up off their seat. Oh, they're loving it, aren't they, Steve? Well, how could they not? I mean, he put the cherry on top of the sundae on them. <laughs> <laughs> now Kukoc still looking to get on the scoreboard. Harper kicks to Pippen. Right side, Pippen. It's good. It's been all made for him so far this half. Three chances and three conversions so far. Foul call. Looked like the D didn't get there in time. And he'll shoot free throw. Dennis Rodman picks one up. Free throw good, Jordan. And so he makes both from the line. Here is Harper. Guarded by Paxson. Harper dishes to Rodman. Longley. Goes right up. And the layup's good off the glass. He's got five. And still perfect here in the second half. Four for four from the field. Jordan, the pass to Grant. Back to Jordan. Three-pointer, and that one's good. And the Bulls lead by six. Anytime they've needed a hoop, he's taken over one shot after another. Boy, is he playing well. Boy, both teams showing a lot of hustle, Clark. Steve, especially since halftime. I mean, they're flying around out there, giving up a lot of energy and putting together a pretty good show. Hits the bucket. Pippen's got six. Good start for this offense. They're shooting three of four now from the field, so offense in a good groove. Longley working against Cartwright. Straight up, and it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. will shoot one more at the free throw line. Again, they attack the hoop from the lane, 
It has been really good to them. Yeah, they're getting whatever they want down there. That's four of their last five buckets coming in the paint area. Backing down is Jordan. Fades. Rebound by the Bulls. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. Longley passes to Pippen. Longley with it. Eight points for him. Oh, I like that good teamwork there. Well, it looks like they really enjoy playing with each well, other. You can see the eye contact, a little nod to each other, and the lob is on its way. Chicago calls timeout. I think Coach saw a couple of things he wanted to correct. You got to make sure everyone's following the game plan. Michael Jordan, he's checked in for Chicago. Making a switch here, the Bulls. Chicago leading. Outside Pippen. Backing down is Jordan. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got three assists in the game. Jordan against Jordan. Another one falls for Chicago. Here's Chicago. They've led by as much as 10. Whoa! How's that for finishing with flavor? Absolutely fantastic. I think he was saving that one for a special occasion. Oh, and the jam by Jordan. I think he wanted some one-on-one -on -one time with the rim. He wasn't letting that thing go. Well, a little, little pose up there hanging on the rim. Just kind of showing off a little bit, Bart. Here's Pippen again, Chicago. And I think defensively, you've got to commit a second defender because he's just destroying you right now. Yeah, one-on-one, -on -one, he's been a handful. Difficult shot for mid-range, and the defense was all over him. Oh, I like the close out there, Steve. Well done. Livingston, guarded by Pippen. Out there, retain possession. And they're able to recover. Just five to shoot. And it's going to be two free throws. Drew contact on the shot. First free throw is good. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. 55 seconds left in the third. From deep, Jordan. And that one's good. Jordan's got 19 points. Well, it took him a long time to get that three-point range. Maybe this will get him going. And that one's good by Pippen. Guys, that's what he does. I mean, he excelled at getting to the rim. They get a hand on it. The Bulls leading by four. Rebounded by Rodman. Here comes Michael Jordan. 19 points in the game. And they double up Jordan. He's picked up by Jordan. You know, guys, it's interesting. Such a good first half for him. Not one turnover, but since halftime, he's been coughing it up repeatedly. The first one falls. Making a switch here, the Bulls. One is no good. A tight game here. Neither team has been able to gain an upper hand on the backboard. Well, both teams really getting after it inside. It's been an interesting battle. Lennington. So the whistle blows on the shot and two free throws for the contact right there. It looked like he hit him on the release of that shot. So good call by the official. Very easy one there. It sends him to the line for a pair of free throws. And he's good on the second. Here is Purdue. Here's Pippen. He cans that one. Pippen's got 12. Another fast break hoop. They're just outrunning their opponent here. You know what, Steve? I think the defense has left themselves vulnerable 
and they're learning the hard way that speed definitely kills. Time call here. The Bulls decide to talk it over. They've already picked up a number of fouls here, and they're in the penalty. Not a good sign. They need to focus on moving their feet, keeping their hands up, and defending without fouling. Ball's knocked loose, out of bounds, and they'll keep possession. Got it off in time. No good on the buzzer beater. Shots continuing to fall as we conclude the third quarter. Both teams putting up points. What a game. Here's Kerr. A moment now to reset the lineups. Back to us by Gatorade. All fueled up here for the fourth quarter. Taking a look at the Bulls. Purdue is out there with King. Then there's Hodges. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Pippen in at the shooting guard position. Back and down is Jordan. He's picked up by Pippen. Dennis Rodman pulls it in. Rodman's got three rebounds so far in the game. He gets the whistle, contact on the way up, and two shots coming up. That one on Pippen. Yeah, plenty of contact there. Easy call. Steve, when you miss a shot like that, you know he got hit on the way up. Good on the second free throw. Chicago calls timeout. He's been attacking the rim with reckless abandon. They're searching for answers. Some way they got to figure out how to contain it. Switch here, the bowl. And now Doris Burke has an update from the sidelines. Well, Kevin, I was able to listen in on what the head coach of the Chicago Bulls was going over in his huddle. He wants to make sure they stay assertive and aggressive on the offensive end, saying, I don't want to sit on this lead. Let's build on it and not give them a chance of coming back. Guys? Thanks again, Doris. Pick off in midair. Very nice. He planted himself in the path of the inside-out pass and Hilford shoots it up. The shot is off. The Bulls leading by five. Looking at the game Pippen has been having, he has 12 points now and three assists as well. And the first one at the line is good. And some changes for Chicago. Luke Longley's checked in for Rodman. Bushler comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Michael Jordan subbed in for Scottie Pippen. 
Horace Grant. He's checked in for Chicago. He's perfect from the line this time. Here's Jordan. Left side, Jordan. They double him with Jordan. Fires from deep. And again, no good by Chicago. And so here is Chicago. They've only given up one point in the fourth quarter. Livingston covered by Long. Now, here's Grant. Not a lot of room. Out of bounds. They'll keep possession. Here's Jordan. Down to five on the shot clock. Controls the rebound and puts it back up and in. Boy, that's a nice little tip in right there. Isn't it? Yeah, he just sort of, uh, you know, Steve, he just kind of finessed it up and in there. A beautiful touch. And that's not an easy shot. Even though you're in close, it takes a lot of touch. Nice play. Shot seems to be a little awry today, just off a fraction. Uh, they've got to have him pick it up, though, and soon. Tell you what, to be successful, this team needs his scoring, and they're really counting on him. 13 feet out. And he knocks down the jumper. Jordan's got nine points here in the second half. Just an unbelievable display of offense here today. Well, it seems like every shot that goes up finds its way to the hoop. I mean, every player is sharp and on target. But that's only his first turnover, so he's done a nice job here offensively. And the shot's good from Bushler. You know, even though it's transition, he's got the green light to fire from there if he has a good look at it. The Bulls leading by six. Kerr is whistled for reaching in. That'll be his second foul of the game. So Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Rodman comes in for Bushman. And Jordan slams it in. Yes, indeedy. Boy, I love that one. That's not just any plain dunk. That has some panache to it. That's an energizer, guys. That is an energizer. That is, and that will lift the whole team up. Chicago with the ball. They've led by as many as 11 points. The quick look no good that time. Now here's Pippen. He started close. Jordan up top. Jordan with another miss. Now well, they're trying to come back here, but you've got to get a better look at the basket to get it done. Huddingston guarded by Pippen. Grant, that's good. Grant's got four points in the quarter. And guys, 10 of their last 12 points coming in the paint. See, I like their aggressiveness on offense, but the question is, where's the defense? They've got to put up some resistance here. Time call here, and the Bulls decide to talk it over. They're down by eight. 129 left in the fourth. So for the Bulls, Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Wennington, and it's Harper in for Smith. And Chicago also making a switch. Hartwright's checked in. Oh, well, they're now plus five in the rebound category, really controlling the glass. And rebounding is one of those non-glamour stats. I mean, it takes work and effort and tenacity and physicality. Um, but when you look at the scoreboard, you can see the correlation. Good on the first, and that'll give him a nine-point lead. Williams, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And so he hits both. Here's Harper. 110 left in the game. And the Bulls with another miss. Good, tough defense there. Getting a hand up, forcing that miss. Well, he's got the reputation of being a tough defender, and there was an example right there for you. Rebound by the Bulls. He's probably better suited sending the ball back out to a teammate because that's not his game right there. Tell you what, guys, you got to appreciate the way he goes after those offensive rebounds. It's something to watch. And the strength, Steve, the strength he is on those putbacks is something to see. Well, we got to witness both of those attributes right there on that play. Guarded by Jordan. Here's Kukoc. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Second shot opportunity. Shot's good by Williams. 
Boy, I like the rugged work on the inside that led to that very easy putback. That's going after it there, guys. Outside Jordan. He's guarded by Harper. Knocked away. Out of bounds. And they'll keep possession. Coming out of the floor for Jordan. Steve. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. I think that may do it here. They're trying to put the nail in the coffin. Well, just adding to the lead as we approach the final buzzer. Here's Kerr. Rebound by Pippen. Now here's Jordan. And so Chicago takes this one and by a big margin. You know, Clark, every team has a bad night, and these guys might want to watch the tape of this game the next time they have a bad night to remind themselves how dominant they can be. Well, this is one of those dreamlike games for a coach. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of NBA Basketball on 2K Sports. For Doris Burke, Steve Kerr, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying see you next time. But first, let's check out the Jordan player of the game.